guys, welcome to Sabina's Mind. Uh, I have some travel tips for you. Let's talk money and safety this time. Money-wise, I am a solo traveler. I have two different debit cards and one credit card. Well, the cards will function everywhere the same. Uh, the debit card, if I withdraw money with it, uh, the money goes immediately out of my bank account. So you always make sure you have enough money in your bank account that you actually can withdraw money. There can be a limit on the amount that you can uh, withdraw of an ATM. So in your own country, it's probably higher than in another country. So before you go out uh, on your holiday or travel, inform at your bank how much money you actually can withdraw there. Make sure that you don't withdraw too much money in the end. There are also some countries that you cannot uh, exchange it to another uh, currency or your own currency. So you don't want to uh, withdraw a lot of money. Uh, I uh, actually, because of the cost, take out uh, most of the time the maximum when I start. So I save up a little bit on that cost. Uh, in the Netherlands, it's the case that the debit card only functions in Europe without uh, changing it. And if I want to use it like in another uh, area, like Northern America or Asia, I have to adjust my card. Can be very easily done online or you can go uh, contact your bank office. With the credit card, it immediately works worldwide, but you have a monthly uh, amount that you can spend in one month. Look into how much money you can spend in one month uh, especially if you are uh, uh, trying to uh, rent a, a boat or a camper or a car, that are like uh, big amounts for uh, uh, one month. And it can happen that you're not even halfway your month and you're already out of your money. Most of the times you can request a higher amount for exception for one month because, because you're traveling. Uh, if you uh, travel with cash money, there are also some countries that have restrictions how much money you can exchange in one time for their currency. Always bring your passport if you do, because a lot of countries require a passport. But the same will be if you want to exchange it back to your own currency. It can be that there is a limit to it how much you can exchange back. So look into that. And a very good tip. Don't try to uh, use the ATM on a Saturday or on a Sunday because a lot of countries still pay their uh, employers on a Friday and they all rent to the uh, ATM and withdraw their money. So in Saturday or Sunday, it can happen that the ATM is empty. So make sure before Friday that you withdraw enough money that can last you the whole weekend. The same is if you can go uh, if you go travel to remote areas, especially to islands, look into it if they even have an ATM. Sometimes it can be that even touristic islands only have one or two ATMs. Don't rely on it, especially if you arrive on a Saturday or Sunday, that there's still money in it. Redraw money in advance. I always travel around with a little, uh, some euros uh, or some US dollars that in case something happens, that I actually can exchange cash money to, uh, to their currency or like a lot of people accept that too, for, uh, if uh, there is an emergency. So a lot of looking in and arranging before you go. Never uh, write your pin secret numbers uh, somewhere down. You really have to try to remember them or uh, put them in a safe area where you have like also access to emergency numbers. Because if you like withdraw money and you don't get money out of the ATM, make sure that you uh, notify your bank with it 48 hours what happened. If they took the money out of your uh, uh, card, of course, or out of your... Uh, account. <laughs> uh, so notify them. It can be that if you uh, mention it too late, there can be a little bit difficulty. Another extra tip for safety reason, always follow the news, of course, if you travel in an area that you know what's going on. But in the Netherlands, we have like a forum department and we can actually uh, uh, sign in there for free and you can uh, say uh, notify them uh, online which countries you travel to so meanwhile while you're traveling if somebody changed if something changed in that country 
because of a, a war is going on, if there's some uh, nature catastrophe going on, they notify you. I had it last year in Nicaragua. So actually two days before I went there, uh, I got a notification that the uh, code, uh, warning code was going up from orange to red because there was no public transportation going on. So also if you are like in areas where the, you don't have access to newspapers or something, make sure they know so if something going on they notify you so money always check uh, how much money you actually can withdraw make sure you have the emergency numbers to phone in if something happened with your card or something went wrong with withdrawing money and notify your foreign department in which countries you're gonna travel so they can notify you if something changes that it's not safe for you to go for the rest I say, enjoy your travels and see you next time.